The untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, just interesting stuff coming out of Japan. You know, shout out to the great country of Japan when it comes to boxing because they have so many great fighters and they have so many, so many, so many people, so many fighters that I have the utmost respect for. Um, Kazuto Ioka, hell of a fighter. Kazuto Ioka. He's coming off of the signature, the signature performance of his career against uh, Kosai Tanaka, and um, Kosai Tanaka. I mean, he for me, he was a pound for a pound for pound caliber fighter. I I had him on my, my, my pound for pound list, and I picked him to win. A lot of people picking Kosai Tanaka to beat Kazuto Ioka, but Ioka uh, uses his experience, his strength, his size, his boxing skills, his his his, his um. He's just ring overall ring savvy to 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 take advantage of uh, a lot of the mistakes that K Kosai Tanaka was getting away with at the low weight classes, um, and you know they were talking to Ishmael Salas, who was the trainer, the great trainer of uh, Kazuto Ioka, and he said something that blew my mind because I, I I read the article and then I sat down and I pondered this for a second, so I want to get into what he said in regards to what the plans are for Kazuto Ioka. He said the following, I quote. Um, that is what we are analyzing. He confessed to me that he doesn't want to stay in the sport much longer, but he is interested in moving up to Bantamweight where he can make history as a five division champion. So far, these are only conversations and nothing is concrete. After the fight with Tanaka, he said that he doesn't want to fight in Japan anymore and that he wants to finish his career by fighting in the United States. There are several big fights that can be made at 115 and 118, including including a showdown against Nayoa the Monster Inoue, which I think would interest the fans. My listen, we got we gotta tip our cap. I know nothing's certain, but the fact that Kazuto Ayoka is entering the twilight of his career and he wants to do these things, it just shows you the kind of heart he has. It shows you the ambition he has. And you know what? Ayoka versus Inoue, sign me up. Sign your boy BT up for that fight because when we talk about when we talk about Kazuto Ioka, this is a guy that for a lot of years, in my opinion, you know, and I'm I'm, I'm as guilty of it as anybody here on True School Sports. Kazuto Ioka was getting overlooked by a lot of the boxing world, um, a lot of the boxing establishment, and I, I love what he's I love what his what, what his ambitions are because you know it's always a tough transition when you're a foreign fighter and you want to have a big fight in America. Because whether you like it or not, you know, America is the entertainment capital of the world. And it is it is not easy to come from your country, whether it be Japan or England or Canada or fucking Argentina. It's not easy to come to America in a, in, 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 in big time boxing and uh, perform well under them lights. It's just not. It's not. It's not. It's not easy to come to the Mecca of boxing and do that. So the fact that he wants to do that. At, at, at the twilight of his career so that people can really put that respect on his name that he deserves, you know, against someone like Inoue. I mean, he's he's killing two birds with one stone. Ioka is trying to kill two birds with one stone. He's trying to get the the the, the general, the respect of the general public, which which if he's going to do it, the best place to come do that is in America because uh, a lot of people will be exposed to him. That, 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 a lot of people who have never been exposed to him will finally be exposed to him. And they deserve to be exposed to him. And he deserves that kind of exposure. He deserves the acclaim. So hopefully he does come to America. And what a way to do it. It would be an explosive fight of the highest order if he fought Nayo the Monster Inoue. Because let, 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 let's, take, let, let, let's take a step back and let's think about it, right? When we talk about Japanese boxing over the last five to ten years, you know, Inoue got to be the best fighter from Japan. He got. He's got to be the best fighter from Japan. Kosai Tanaka looked like he was well on on his way to giving um, Inoue a run for his money as the best fighter in Japan. You know, you got you got Ken Shiro. You had Yamanaka who held it down for a long time at, at, at one eighteen when he was boxing like Anselmo Moreno and all those guys. You know, Ioka is in that mix. He's in that caliber of fighters from Japan. But like to me. If he goes up to if he, if this guy goes up to one eighteen and he fights Nanayoa the Monster Inoue and beats him after just beating Tanaka, that cements him as the greatest Japanese fighter of his era. That's what that, that that's what that win does. That's the kind of win that puts you in the Hall of Fame in, on the first ballot easily. Um, that's the kind of win that that makes you a legend forever. I mean that that that's the kind of win you know to beat Tanaka 
at 115. Then they come up to 118 and fight Anoye, who's undefeated, consensus top three pound for pound fighter on most lists. That's the kind of win that 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 puts you in the Hall of Fame. It gets you remembered forever. They make statues about you. They write books about you. They make movies about you. They make musicals about you. That's the kind of win that it will be. So I love the ambition from Ioka. I love what I'm hearing from him. I hope that he follows through on, on the plans that Ishmael Salas is talking about because um, this is a guy that, that wants to prove that he's great. And he wants and he wants the world to put that general respect on his name. So shout out to the great warrior from Japan, Kazuto Ioka who I overlooked for a long time, but he really um, gave my respect. Now, I, I know a lot of people are going to say that um, Ioka should really probably focus more on fighting like Chala Tito Gonzalez, you know, the real TBE. And that's a fight that he could have had years ago and, you know, he, it, it didn't happen. A lot of people say he, he ducked from Mook Gonzalez. Um, fair enough, you know. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to hold it against him. If, listen, if he goes up to 118 and fights Inouye, I'm not going to hold it. I'm not going to hold it against him for not fighting Chala Tito or Estrada. Or any of those guys, because he's going up to a higher weight class, and he's trying to he's trying to do some, something that's that's truly legendary for himself and for boxing in this country. He's trying to go up to one eighteen, and he just beat Kosai Tanaka, who looked like he was on his way to um, just blazing a a path through everyone, and then to beat a guy like Inoue, a guy that's three division champion, a guy that just come out he's, he's coming off the fight of the year with Donaire. He just knocked out Jason Maloney. Um, He's looking like a guy that anybody he fights at 118, he's just going to run right through him. So for Ioka to go to 118 and challenge a guy like that in his prime as an older fighter in the twilight of his career, you can't do nothing but tip your cap to that. And and, and like I said, beating a guy, beating beating an Inouye after beating a Tanaka would make him one of the greatest Japanese fighters of all time. It might put him in like the top three or five Japanese fighters of all time. It, 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 at damn, at bare minimum, at bare minimum for the time being, it would cement him as the best Japanese fighter of his era, of that like 10 to 20 year span, you know, um, that, 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 that's just my opinion, because how do you beat Kosai Tanaka, you know, you beat freaking Enoya, you got names like that on your resume, how can you dispute a guy like that being the best fighter from this country, so... I, I I just I really mess with what he, I I really mess with the ambition for Ioka. So I want to know what you guys think. Kazuto Ioka versus Anoye. Do you give him any sort of chance against Anoye? Um, I do. Um, I think Ioka is a hell of a fighter. I think Ioka is one of the smartest fighters in the sport, and uh, he deserves that opportunity to to to, to have that J Japanese super fight in the states. Maybe like in L.A. There's a lot of Japanese Japanese people out there, so you know just. That's what it is. But you guys let me know what you think. Ioka versus Inouye at 118. You know, the battle for Japanese boxing supremacy and boxing supremacy at large. Leave your comments down below. Make sure you take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.